18 says, If the whole body were an eye, where would be the sense of hearing? If the whole body were an ear, where would be the sense of smell? But as it is, God arranged the members in the body, each one of them as he chose. Look at this dribbling! Look at these moves! Look at that shot! <gasps> the fish is on fire! Great shot! My name's Carter. Can I play too? We're not playing baby lobster ball. This is big boy basketball. Three Bs, like Barracuda. Um, I think Barracuda only has one B. And I'm not a lobster. I'm a crayfish. Huh? Wait, why would they call a blue lobster a grayfish? So what makes a crayfish different from a lobster? Well, crayfish are much smaller. Our legs and claws are a bit different. And our color can be blue. Oh, and I can swim backwards really fast. Sounds like a baby blue lobster to me, like I said in the first place. I think what Marcus is trying to say is maybe you're too little to play with us. Yeah, I know I'm little. I'm also not as fast as him. Definitely can't rebound like him. And I can't shoot as well as you. But I could help in my own way. Come on, guys. Are we playing or talking to a baby gray lobster bluefish? Sorry, Carter. Maybe another time? Okay. I'm right over here if you need me. Hi, Jesus. I know you're always watching. I'd really like to make some new friends, and you know I like playing basketball. Please help me to be a good friend to others, no matter what. Amen. Ugh, this is so confusing. Why can't math class be more like recess? Uh, maybe because we're trying to learn math and not play games? Maybe I can help. How many points did you just score playing basketball at recess? I got 14. And how many baskets was that? Seven. David couldn't stop me. Well, the math we're doing is just like that. Two points for each basket. Every time you score a basket, it's another two points. You're adding by two each time. Wow, I get it now. Thanks. See, David, math is just like recess. That was pretty good. I'm David. And I'm Freddy. Ah, oh, why does this always happen? Whoa, how much stuff do you have in there? Too much. It's always falling out. Hmm, I bet I could help you with that. What do you mean? Here, let me show you. Jesus heard my prayer and gave me chances to help everyone I met. That's wonderful. And it's also wonderful you made the most out of those opportunities. The Apostle Peter wrote, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another. Do you think they'll let me play with them now? I don't know, sweetheart. Whether they do or don't, always remember. You can't control what others do, only what you do. And leave the rest to Jesus. Thanks, Mommy. I 
I can help. But not sure how you're gonna get it back down. I'm planning on being taller by lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> See you in class. Hey, David! You dropped this! Thanks, Carter! Nice pass! You're welcome! Yes, Freddy? Is it the math work? No, Carter keeps helping me, but why is math so easy for him and not for me? Well, every year when you win the 100-meter race, is it easy for you to run fast? Super easy! We all have our strengths and we all have our weaknesses. The Apostle Paul wrote, If the whole body were an eye, where would be the sense of hearing? If the whole body were an ear, where would be the sense of smell? God arranged the members in the body. There are many parts, yet one body. I want to be the feet! <laughs> I'm not surprised. That's your talent. And Carter might be the brains. If we all work together using our strengths, we will all be stronger together. I'm telling you guys, we should give Carter a chance. I wouldn't want him on my team. Miss Sally Seahorse said, we all have our strengths. We're all part of one body, doing different things. He might be a great ear, but I don't think that's gonna make him a good ball player. I bet Carter and I could beat anyone. Really? Any two of us? Yeah, who's up for it? Okay, me and Marcus. Ooh, now you're in trouble. <laughs> Today, after school, at the park. This is going to be easy. Hey, Carter, can you play basketball after school? What's going on? Someone's already said that Freddy and Marcus are going to destroy me? That's because we're playing them, you and me, two on two. Really? You want me to play with you? I've seen you pass. You've got skills, and I can shoot. We're a perfect match. You think so? Just like from the Bible, different strengths. Both Marcus and Freddy are the same. They're both like, like, elbows. Elbows? We're the complete body. Elbows don't know how to pass. I just hope this body doesn't let you down. The courts, after school, be there. Dear Jesus, please help me to do my best and use my talents that I know you've given me. Amen. Hey, David, I thought you were going to play with Carter. Oh, there he is. I didn't see him. I was looking for a gray fish. Real funny, Marcus. How about we play and we'll see if you notice him. You can start. Carter, our turn. Okay, thanks.
next time. No, I do. What do you say? My passes are wasted without you guys. Each of us has talents. We need to use them to help one another. That's what the Apostle Peter wrote. Just like David's gift of seeing a different talent and giving someone a chance. So, is he on my team or what? <laughs> 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 